In this video I have for you another money glitch. To do this awesome money glitch you simply need to have a nightclub and the nightclub service entrance um, garage B2 and a B3 okay but you don't need to have a car to duplicate okay so if you don't have the EC if you don't have any Benny's vehicle but you have the nightclub and you want to do the money glitches this is your chance because ultimately with this glitch you will be able to make enough money to purchase you know a more expensive vehicle and in the end do the best money glitches in Grand Theft Auto Online okay but as you guys know very soon as soon as I hit 15,000 subscribers I'm gonna give Red Dead Redemption 2 and as you guys know Red Dead Redemption 2 is back on track nice missions some simple heist it's only the beginning this summer it's gonna be awesome so make sure to be part of this awesome giveaway and it is very simple if you want to be part of the giveaway you simply need to drop a comment let me know you want to be part of the giveaway ultimately subscribe to my channel turn the post notifications on to never miss out on any other money glitches you know and then you will be part of the giveaway and please guys drop a like so drop a like right about now so for the first step you need to go to your nightclub and go to your elevator and select basement level 3 and then you want your friend to start a solo session okay not an invite only session not a crew session a solo session okay this is the last option uh, you have when you want to launch an online session so as you can see my friend is in a solo session from here you your friend needs to go online and basically uh, go to jobs and start a stunt race okay you simply need to go ahead and start a stunt race and from here he needs to wait on this screen okay and you you need to basically go to the elevator door then you want to simply join your friend okay so you join your friend but if you're on xbox one make sure to not spam a to join your friend okay because you will not have time to select a basement level 2 you will get the GTA session details right away and it's not gonna work okay so now I'm about to show you exactly how to do the glitch okay so you go ahead and you join your friend once again okay so you join your friend but make sure to select join game only one time back out from there and then you want to wait a few seconds five seconds ultimately and then you want to select the basement level 2 you will get this alert right after and then you want to accept the first alert and wait on the second alert for about 15 to 20 seconds remember your friend needs to be in this mission all this time all the time you do this thing inside your arena your friend needs to be on the job so now go ahead and accept this alert screen and you will be stuck on a black screen for a few seconds. If you don't get this black screen just try again. Okay but at some point you will spawn back inside basement level 2 without your minimap. If you have the minimap at this point just start the glitch over again. But from here if you got all that get inside any car you have in your nightclub basement level 2 and drive it out and once you're outside it's very important guys your friend needs to leave the mission okay it's very important if your friend don't leave the mission you will not be able to proceed with the next steps okay now go ahead and invite your friend to the session so once your friend is in the session he needs to come inside your vehicle then you want to drive to the purple circle and then you want to hover over basement level 2 and your friend needs to open his interaction menu and select kill yourself and then he wants to quickly 
press the pause button and go to the Xbox store. From here guys, it is very important, your friend needs to wait on the Xbox store on the shark cards the entire time. So go ahead from here and select basement level 2. And if you did everything correctly, you will be completely frozen, okay? You will be stuck on a black screen and at some point you need to kill yourself, okay? So I just selected basement level 2, as you can see I am on a black screen completely frozen. So now I need to open my interaction menu and select to kill yourself. There we go, so now I'm gonna spawn somewhat close to my nightclub. Now you want to get inside, okay, you want to get inside a street car. You can use any street car, don't get me wrong, but if you want to make a lot of money very fast, you need to use this car, okay? <laughs> I was so lucky, like, I passed out, boom, spawned back on the map, and the car, the best car to use to do this glitch is right beside me. Huh? <laughs> Alright, that's pretty funny, I'm very pleased. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna put in the description the best vehicles to use. Um, this one is the best, I think. But there's also the Sentinel XS, okay? This is a little car, you can find this car very close from the Eclipse Tower, you know? Um, but yeah, it is pretty easy to find the right car, okay, don't get me wrong again But from here guys, you need to make your way to Los Santos Customs And remember at this point you don't have the minimap, so you need to know where is Los Santos Customs I really hope you know where it is Alright, so from here guys, get inside Los Santos Customs And once you're inside Los Santos Customs with your Obermaka Oracle Damn, I like the name of this car but yeah, from here guys, once you're inside Los Santos Customs, you can simply go ahead and repair the vehicle. Then you want to fully customize the vehicle. It's very important if you want to make a lot of money, so fully customize the vehicle. And then you want to go to this section, and you want to add a tracker. It is only $2,000, so go ahead and add a tracker on your vehicle. And then you want to exit Los Santos Customs. And once you're outside, um, if you go back in Los Santos Customs, you will be able to add another tracker on this vehicle. Okay, so the way it works, the vehicle will be transferred to the first empty slot you have in your list. Okay, so for me it is for garage number three. So make sure you have a couple of empty slots, okay, before you start to do this glitch. Um, but as you can see, I still have the option to add a tracker. So if you do this, in fact, every time you add a tracker on the vehicle, you will get one vehicle. So you can get, in fact, one vehicle every uh, five seconds, okay, because every time you drive in Los Santos Customs and you add another tracker, you have one more dupe, okay, so it is extremely fast, but be careful with this glitch, guys. Um, in some other videos, I saw about this glitch or about this method or about previous methods with street cars. Um, the plate. The plate, guys, the plate, um, there's, it's the same plate, you know, on the, on, on all the vehicles. Uh, so you need to have custom plates, so make sure you put a custom plate on your vehicle before you sell the vehicle. And make sure to respect the daily sell limit. So basically, you can use this glitch, like I said before, to make a good amount of money and purchase a better car to dupe. And by the way, this glitch works with any car, so... You can also duplicate personal vehicles with this glitch. I made a video about it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it is the case, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn the post notifications on. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.